Hello, in this video we're going to cover some basic arithmetic. So I've started in this Excel spreadsheet with an, a value of x for 55 and a value of y of 10. So let's show how to just do some simple arithmetic. So let's first do x plus y. Whenever we write an equation in Excel, we start with the equals sign. So equals, and then we point to the cell we want to use, and then we point to the second cell. Now I could have always typed in a2 and b2 as well, but clicking it sometimes is a little bit easier. So now equals a2 plus b2, we hit enter and we get the result of 65. We do the same with x minus y. And then x times y, this time I'm going to type in a2, and then times is little star, and then b2. x divided by y. Now, the, simple, the other thing you want to notice is that order of operations matters. So you have to remember your order of operations. Um, PEMDOS is the way I like to remember it. Um, so how, let's, let's look at the difference between these two. So if we do x minus y times y, that's going to give us negative 45 because it does the y times y first. So it does y times y, which is 100 and subtracts that from 55, which is negative 45. The other thing we can um, do is add parentheses in our equations. So this one is going to do whatever's in the parentheses first. And when we do that, we get 450, because we do x minus y, which is then 45, times y, which is 10, so that's 450. If you're never unsure about what's happening, you can always go, click on the cell, go to formulas, and go to evaluate formula. So this will evaluate each step in the formula. So it'll show you that a2 is 55, b2 is 10, and it'll show you the next step that, that you get 45 here. And then it'll show you that it's multiplying that by 10, and it can be 450. This may seem a little bit easy with this formula, but this really, really helps with uh, later formulas when they get more complicated. Okay, so that's sort of the basics in Excel. The other thing we can do um, in Excel is, and we'll just do this with a simple example, we're going to do y to the power of 2. So we'll make this a little bit easier to see. So how that works is we just take b2, and then the little caret is to the power of 2. So that's how you do powers in Excel. Okay, so that's sort of simple arithmetic. The real hard part in Excel with arithmetic is dates. So let's look at a uh, date. So the easiest way to input a date in Excel is to use the date formula. So you just type equals date, open parentheses, and you can see it's asking for a year, month, day. Well today I'm making this video is 2014, um, the month is 9, and the day is 10. So let's put in that date first. So you can see it formats it for us. Now let's put in a second date. Um, Let's put in um, about one year ago. So equals date, and so we'll do 2013, 9, 10. Great, so now we have two dates. So now let's do, the real thing with dates is sometimes you want to figure out the time that, that lapsed in between dates. So let's do um, date two or date 1 minus date 2 and see what happens. So this is going to give us, and again we use the equal sign, so we're going to date 1 minus date 2. So that gives us 365. So what this gives us is, it gives us the amount of days. So let's say I change this and I change this to, instead of 2013, I change it to 2014 and 5th. So you can sort of see there's five days in between there. So that's great. So this always gives us a result of five days. But let me add something into this days and show you what happens. So now we're going to add a time. So by default, um, it just gives the beginning of the day. But let's say I added, um, this gives you hours, minutes, and seconds. Let's say I wanted to do 10 a.m. for this. 
So, and let's display it, so we go back to home, and we're going to display this as a custom um, value, because we want to display it, we want to make sure the time shows up so we know what we're working with. So now we're doing um, the 10th at 10 a.m. minus the um, 5th at, um, you know, the beginning of the day. So how we get the number of hours is we do date 1, actually we need to put parentheses in it, date 1 minus date 2 times 24. Okay, so we can, if we do that, date 1 minus date 2. Now we need to be really careful because we have to put parentheses in here because of order of operations. So that's 130 hours. So we could see if we if we uh, added this just to be um, the beginning of the day on the 10th, it would be 10 hours, right? Because this is the beginning of the day. We can also show that a little bit better if we um, show the time on this one. And again, remember, if you get these numbers, just make the column a little bit bigger. So you can see, if you don't type in a time, it just automatically defaults to the beginning of the day. So those are some operations with dates that and, and arithmetic in Excel. And remember, whenever since we have these formulas, whenever you change something, if I change this to 88, it's going to change all of our results down here. And you can see that when we did the dates. So that's the real power of Excel formulas, because you write them in once, and if you change some of your assumptions or something, they change automatically. Thanks, thank you for watching.